Hi, this is James at World War II Jeep and Rifle, and today I'm going to do some alignment and tuning on a BC620 World War II slash Korea era vacuum tube radio used by the infantry and uh, uh, usually mounted in a Jeep. This radio is configured with two crystals, operates on one of two channels and you can alternate the channel you're using but the crystals are set for 20 megahertz and 27.9 megahertz right now 27.9 megahertz is working pretty well 20 megahertz I can receive but I can't transmit out of the radio I'm using a service monitor to do all this work and I'll, I'll walk you through that the setup I have here in my house I've removed this from the Jeep and I've got it next to my service monitor right, so I can see the spectrum analyzer while I'm tuning I got a 6 volt battery um, since my Jeep is on a 6 volt system. The vibrator is already set for 6 volts. All the power supplies uh, up convert and, uh, for the different power domains in the, in the radio system based on the PE120, uh, which is the lower box. Anyway, I've got this extension cable so that I can slide the radio cabinet out and we can mess with the tuning on the transmitter receiver side. <clears throat> while it's uh, easily mounted. Back here I have uh, my two feet of wire going to my MP48 antenna base with two sections of antenna right here. So, you know, it's a pretty tight little area. Anyway, that's the setup. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Again, I'm on 27.9. I'll show you how it should work. Volume's all the way up. In the receiver, you can start to hear the rush of noise, which is a good sign. This radio system has been modified. It's been modified with a, a receiver light and a transmitter light and some sort of a signal strength meter, old school uh, radio style meter. <clears throat> That's not original military. Okay, so now I'm going to go handheld for a minute, if you don't mind. And I'm going to show you the spectrum analyzer. Now, as long as uh, the refresh rate here doesn't drive you crazy, you can see I have this thing in generate mode. I'm generating at 27.9 megahertz. That's where I programmed it. And I'm also modulating with FM tone of 1000 hertz, something that we can easily hear through the handset. So <clears throat> it is transmitting right now over this antenna and I will dial up the the power I think the refresh rate just knocked out the in the handset you can start to hear the 1000 Hertz so the BC620 receiver at 27.9 megahertz seems to be working well I reduce the power the output power and Okay, so next I'm going to program it for 20 hertz. Okay, 20 hertz. I'm going to switch the BC620 over to channel A. I know that that crystal is the 20 megahertz channel. Now I'll turn up the output power on the signal generator. Okay, so at 20 hertz, I've got to I've got to get it at, at max. Not quite as much sensitivity in the BC620 receiver at 20 hertz. So some tuning required sounds like on both the. Well, I know the transmitter, but but the receiver as well. Okay, so let me take it out of generate and. I'm going to set the service monitor up for receive. So let me put it back on 27.9. I think I got that right. Squelch out some of that noise. Okay. Now, put it back on the 27.9 megahertz channel. I've got my TS 
15 handset here. I'm about to key it. We'll see the transmitter and the spectrum analyzer should show the, the uh, signal waveform from the transmitter. We'll go ahead and attenuate it 20 dB. Come in, D copy. D copy. Test one, two. Test one, two. Turn this volume up a little more in the service monitor and you should be able to hear my voice over the service monitor as it's being demodulated. This 27.9 is looks like it works. You can see the spectrum a little bit wide, so let me tighten it up. Test one, two, test one, two. Okay, now I'm gonna set it for 20. Apologize for the refresh rate on that screen. I, I can tell it, it is not really coming in clear, but I'm getting I'm getting uh, RF power <coughs> over the transmitter. Now, switching back over here to 20 megahertz. I'm gonna do the same test. Okay, I'm keying. Keying the transmitter. And you can see some some uh, spectrum way off center. So I'm at it looks like with 0.2 megahertz per division, I'm three divisions out. So I'm 600 kilohertz off center with my 20 megahertz transmitter. I need to do some tuning in the BC620. I'll show you that. Okay. First thing to know, turn this off for a minute, is uh, when you change the crystals or when you need to do some basic level tuning on the BC620, you need to refer to TM11-605. You can find this on the web. And in particular, there are six per channel, A and B, the two different crystals, per channel, there are some presets. If you were to change the crystal, you need to get these presets close on the trimmers that uh, are inside of the, the radio system. There's also an inductor that has to be set through a plug on the bottom of the transceiver. I'll show you that here in just a second. These presets get you close but you have to do some dialing in and I don't know how you do this without a service monitor or some of the antique equipment that is described in this TM11605. So go ahead and set this thing back on the tripod for a second. Okay. So this box like I said I've got the extension cord so that we can do this here's the inside of the radio cabinet just kind of let it rest okay when you pull the radio cabinet out of the housing you disconnect the antenna so I'm gonna just use an alligator clip here and reconnect my antenna. Okay, so as I said, there's some trimmer settings that you have to make. And as described again in, in TM611-605, page 55, there's a table for the approximate trimmer settings that go with each range of crystals, 0 through 19, anyways, in 20, 20 megahertz segments. So channel B is my 27.9. I'm going to leave that one alone. Channel A is the, is the troublesome channel. Um, <clears throat> you can see here is uh, the A1, A2 for the transmitter, buffer grid, Mixer grid, PA grid, 
power amp amplifier plate. So all of these settings, these six settings can be made according to the crystal you have. And, and we'll use the service monitor to fine tune because you can only kind of get approximate. And, and look at these numbers here. For example, on uh, the top row, uh, 1.5 for A5. And if you find A5 right here, the uh, resolution of the marks on that trimmer are not that good. So I can tell you that if you don't get it right on, it does not work. So next uh, thing to note, and I need to turn over this box to show you, is L1. Depending on the crystals that you're going to use, you have to uh, you have to set yet another uh, item. Okay, in looking at the bottom of the BC620 transceiver cabinet underside, on the right hand of this table on page 55, you can see positions of pin L1 for channels 0 through 19. The position needs to be 8. For channels 75 through 80, the position needs to be 1. And here is what it's referring to. Um, you can tell this is channel B and this wire over here, although I don't have the camera showing, that's channel A. So channel A is a, is a crystal number 0 for 20 megahertz in slot 8, position 8, which is correct. It's just a pin, so if you wanted to change your frequency, you pull the pin out, you move it to the to the appropriate hole in this configurable component. So that is how you do the presetting. Fine tuning is next. Let me turn this thing back over and then we'll get to the fine tuning part. Okay, so on the 20 megahertz channel, we know that the transmitter is off and the transmitter oscillator is A2 and A2 for 20 megahertz should be around the 2 graduation mark. I mean generally it is but I'm gonna have to dial this while I'm keying the transmitter on the handset so um, I'm gonna key the transmitter I can see that I'm off on the spectrum analyzer and I will try to dial it in here and while I'm doing this uh, why don't you watch the spectrum analyzer okay there you go. So transmitter. You can see that I'm I'm off frequency. I'm dialing it in. And there we go. I'm on frequency now. Okay, I'm yep, now I'm now I'm able to talk and uh, we're we're demodulating successfully in the service monitor. Over and out. Okay, so it was just uh, one one modification of the setting here and I mean in visually you can't tell any difference it still looks like it's pointing to the 2 graduation mark on the A2 which is the preset trimmer setting but it had to be ever so slightly moved from there and some of the other uh, adjustments on the trimmer settings can also be optimized for the frequency and the specific crystal you have given its individual tolerances all right, so there you go. Uh, we just tuned in our, our 20 megahertz transceiver on this World War II BC620 Jeep radio. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys had fun. Uh, subscribe and we'll show you more. See you next time.